One of the reasons that make the Galaxy Note 9 so special is because of the S Pen. Today, I'm going to show you 12 different settings that you can change to make your Galaxy Note 9 S Pen even more useful. Let's do it. Hey, welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. My name is Liron Segev, where I make technology simple. And that's what we do here every Tuesday. I share with you tips and tricks and gadgets, making you more productive, more efficient, and getting more out of your system. If this is the first time here, please take a moment, consider subscribing, smash that button that's right down here, and let's get on to today's show. So the S Pen isn't new to the Note series. We've had the S Pen since the very first Note 1 and I absolutely loved it. Now the difference between this pen and the previous one is that this is Bluetooth enabled and it's got this little button giving it additional functionality. What can you do with it? What you should be doing with it? Let me take you through the settings that I like and I'm sure you will too. So let's kick it off with one of the biggest misconceptions about the Note 9 and that is that you need to have Bluetooth enabled constantly to be able to run your S Pen and therefore it will drain your battery. That is in fact not true. What you got to do is go into your settings, let me show you how this works, there's an option there called S Pen Remote. As long as that's enabled you can disable your Bluetooth and then your pen will actually still work as normal. Let me show you, pull the pen out. And there it is, goes straight into my note and I can write on it, no problem. So my Bluetooth is actually off, but the pen works absolutely perfectly fine. Right, next up, let me show you what happens when you disable the S Pen remote. So now I'm going to switch it off, but you can see that the S Pen still continues to work as a normal stylus, as a normal pen would. Everything's clickable, but of course, none of the Bluetooth functionality will work because you basically disconnected it. Now, how to re-enable that? What you got to do is, let me show you how this works. Go into your S Pen remote. Hold, do a long hold. I just want to show you that it actually connects, but of course, you can just tap it once and finish. But all you got to do is you're going to switch it back on and you have to put the pen inside. Wait a couple of seconds for it to pair up again and then it basically becomes available. Right, let's get into some customizations. So, long press on the S Pen remote, and here it has an option that says, hold down the pen button to, and typically it would launch your camera. That's how it comes by default, but you can change that. If you don't use your camera that often, you use your GPS, for example, you can do that. So set it to whatever app you want, and now watch this double, long hold the button, and maps opens. Right, let's get back into those settings. So S Pen Remote, long hold that. And now under the apps sections, here's we can customize what a single press of the button does and a double press of that button does. So single press, take a picture, double press, I don't know, um, record a video, change to selfie mode, etc. Now it's pretty cool, one, is the one I like is the PowerPoint one, so which you can control your presentation, next slide or previous slide, that's pretty cool. Also something that's pretty handy is if you do a lot of Chrome presentations and you want to show websites, I like the idea of being able to press and it will scroll down. So let me show you that. So single press and it scrolls down. And double press and it scrolls back up again. Now, if you forget what each of these settings is set to do in any particular application, all you gotta do is hover above the little pen icon on the side there and it will tell you what a single and a double press does. Now, if you want to actually change that, press on that, and at the bottom, you have an option to then customize it again for that particular application. So, one of the features of the S Pen is that when you pull it out, it will automatically launch a specific program, and you see, it can get a little bit irritating. So, it's useful in some cases, but it can get a little bit much, like a note every single time I just want to pull the pen out. But you can customize that as well. Go into your settings, and under the settings, you've got something called the, when the S Pen is removed. Let me show you that, yeah. When the S Pen is removed, instead of creating a note, I can say open air or I can say do nothing. And that's great because now, when you pull the pen out, it actually doesn't do anything, but it still brings up the little icon so that I can go and choose which app I wanna use. All I've gotta do is now basically tap on the little pencil and there it is, a whole bunch of applications to simply launch. 
Now, because the entire world doesn't speak just one language, this is a pretty nifty feature to have. It's called Translate. Tap on that. You select the original source language. So let's just choose English in this case. And the language it translates to. And um, let's, just choose, let's just choose Afrikaans. Why not? South African roots showing here again. Now we open up a web browser or anything you want to translate and now whenever you hover over specific words it will just translate them into the language you've just selected. What's pretty cool is that if you can tap on the speaker next to it in fact it will read out that word for you. And if you tap the word itself it would actually launch Google Translate so that you've got your well everything you're used to in your Google Translate right there. Now let's choose another language, instead of Afrikaans, let's choose something that's um, more recognizable, perhaps in the US, something like, I don't know, Spanish, and again, hover over that, it does exactly the same thing. Brilliant. Another neat feature of using the S Pen is being able to draw or write, and it will translate that into normal text. So any place that you can actually write, you can hover above that, there's a little T that, that kind of pops up, press that, and now all you can do is write your messages, in normal English and it will just transcribe that into characters. So Samsung has its own app store. Now it uses something called Galaxy Apps, you can go into that and there you can see basically games that you know will work on this particular device. So it's pretty smart. One thing that you should look out for when you go in there is something called Pen App find that and it should be installed by default but if it isn't here's how you install it and then launch that app so what app app does it allows you to do things like live drawing it allows you to do tracing coloring in you know any of the adult coloring in books but think about that but more of an electronic version of that also you can look at other creators work and what they've done you can share that it's pretty actually quite a cool little community that goes on in there I like the idea of colouring, you know, when you want to kill some time, waiting for an appointment, you want to doodle, kind of get your mind lost in things. Use all these tools at your fingertips using the S Pen and then effectively make your creations come to life. That's pretty cool. Arguably one of the most useful features of the S Pen is being able to take a quick note even on your lock screen. So let me show you how you do that. It's called Screen Off Memo and there it is in the S Pen settings. And here you can enable it to be on or off, and you can enable it to use the colors of your particular device. And I'll show you what that means shortly. So I'm gonna leave mine on for now, and let me show you how that actually works. So put the pen back in, assume your phone is off, and now someone wants to give you a telephone number. You can simply whip out the pen, I'm um, left-handed, so I'm gonna swap it over, and I can simply write on my lock screen. I don't have to unlock the screen and simply just start writing. Now, as you can see, the color it matches the pen that I'm holding. So you can see it's purplish. What color is it? Purplish. And I can just carry on writing in that color. Great, I can save it to my notes. Perfect. So very, very quick, very, very useful. Now, let me show you what happens when you change it. So go into your settings and go to the your screen off memo. And this time, I don't want to use the color of this particular pen. Okay, so let me show you what that looks like. Put the pen back in, keep the phone unlocked, take the pen out, it fires up the memo, and now you can see that it writes in a white color. So we know that you can hover above images and see things like share, delete, save, etc. But now, did you know that if you hold the button down, you're actually able to select multiple images at the same time? So let me show you that. Hold the button down and drag over the over basically the images. And you can see the little blue triangle or rectangle comes up. And whatever you let go of, that's gonna be automatically selected. And you can share, delete, or you can move to albums, copy, etc. So you found this amazing YouTube channel and you really want to get your friends to subscribe and help this creator out because you're just that awesome. So we know how to scroll down and how to scroll up by double tapping. Let me show you what you can do with the S Pen to highlight something on the screen. Like for example, the subscribe button. Go into your settings and then click on screen right. 
Now it takes a little snapshot of your screen and it gives you some drawing options. Let's use a color or let's change a color to blue. Um, let's get nice and creative with something like the calligraphy pen. Yeah, let's do that and click on close. Now you want to highlight the subscribe button so we make it pretty and we draw a lovely arrow and there it is. From this point what you can do is you can go down to the bottom and you can crop it, you can share it and you can save it. So if you want to share it with your friends telling, telling them to subscribe you can just do that straight away from here. Okay now that's the first way of doing things. Go into your settings again and this time let's do something else. Let's go into an option called screen smart select. Okay smart select but this time I'm going to ch I can choose just to select that particular section that I want to highlight. So for example the subscribe button and there it is and uh, now that I've highlighted it I can go ahead and draw on the screen again and I can basically do exactly what I did before but this time there's much less of the screen to see right. Again share it, save it, do what you wish with it once you've, once you've got it. Okay so another option to know how to save and share your beautiful imagery. What else can we do? Let's say you don't want to draw on the screen, but you still want to show attention to a particular section or a particular spot. Remember at school we used to have something called a highlighter? Well, choose that, choose a color, good old yellow for school, and basically there's a subscribe button. This is the button I need you to hit to subscribe to this channel. So great, straightforward, change your pen, do whatever you need to do, and change the color, and just kind of really give it some personalization so for example let's just write something like I don't know don't forget oops we've got space there yeah don't forget to subscribe woohoo and one more way to present something off the screen let's show you go back to smart select choose the lasso 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 option and this time you can freehand a selection so I'm going to get semi-creative and I'm just going to focus on that section. And what's pretty cool is being able to press the T button and it will try to transcribe whatever's on the screen, like almost OCR it, uh, optical character recognition, which you can copy and paste it somewhere else. All your beautiful masterpieces of capturing and editing are all available, of course, in your gallery where you can save them and share them as you will. Now, this is something that you don't think that you'll use at the beginning, but you end up using more and more and more the more you take advantage of the S Pen. It's great to see how the Note has developed. I had the original Note 1, and of course, the pen back then did not do nearly as much as it does now. Really, really well done, and a great feature. I really like the S Pen. I really like the Note series, and I think that this is just evolving more and more. There's another button on the top here, which is doing nothing at the moment. I wonder... I wonder if this is something that they'll put into, into the future. I think this can just evolve even more, becoming even more useful. If you missed my previous video on the Note 9, check it up here. It's got 14 different settings that you should change on your device to make it even more awesome. If this is your first time here, the button's down here to subscribe. Don't forget to press that. Give the video a thumbs up because it really helps the channel a lot. And I appreciate each and every one of you doing that. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Cheers for now. I'm <laughs> sorry.